In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Sideloadly on your Windows device to sideload any IPA to your iPhone easily and make sure to watch the video till the very end because a lot of people face a lot of difficulty and error while installing this application on this Windows device. So let's get started. So first open any of your browser right here and click on iTunes Apple. Click on get it from Microsoft. Click on download. And once you click on this iTunes installer, it will open in Microsoft Store, then click on install. So once it's done, click on yes. So once your iTunes is installed and open, just connect your phone to your computer. So once you connect your iPhone to a computer, just click on trust on your iPhone and input your password. Then click on continue on this iTunes tab on your computer. And once it's done, go on account, go on the authorizations and click on authorize this computer. Then input your Apple ID and password which you have entered on your iPhone and click on authorize. Once you do that, it, can, it will ask for a code on your iPhone. Click on allow and input the 6 digit code from your iPhone to your computer. And once it's done, your device will be authorized. Now we'll move to our second step. Again, go back to your browser, search for iCloud, download, Windows. Click on this download iCloud for Windows. Click on download iCloud for Windows from the Microsoft Store and click on download again. Then click on this iCloud installer.exe. And once iCloud is open, click on get started. Now again, log into your iCloud account, the one you are using on your iPhone. Click on sign in. Now again, you will get a pop up on your iPhone. Click on allow and again input the six digit code from your iPhone to your Windows PC. You can click on not now, not now and again not now and in the end click on finish setup so when this is done now for step 3 we will need to go to our iphone device so on your iphone just go to your settings click on your name on the top then click on icloud and go at the very bottom and click on this advanced data protection and click on turn off advanced data protection and click on turn off It will ask for your iPhone PIN code, just add that. And once it's done, we are done with the step 3. Now we'll move back again to our PC. So now when we are again on our PC, we can go again to our browser and download the latest version of Sideloadly. Click on this first link. Go down. Click on Windows 64 bit or 32 bit according to your requirement. And once it's downloaded, click on it to install, click on more info, click on run anyway, click on next, next, install. And click on finish. Now Sideloadly will install and open by its own. So as we can see first error, Sideloadly needs administrator permission in order to set up local NST so I click on OK I click on yes and now it's running as an administrator and it has also detected our device so you can either keep your device connected via USB cable at this point or you can just remove it and keep it on the same Wi-Fi it will work either way so now you just need to put your Apple ID over here and the IPA file which you want to sideload on your iPhone so I'll just download one right now so I've downloaded this IPA called darkroom.ipa. I'll open the Sideloadly application again and click on this IPA file. Click on download and click on this darkroom and I'll click on start. I'll ask for my Apple ID password. So I'll just enter the password and click on OK. Now as you can see our app has been successfully installed without any error. Now we'll move back to our phone to see what needs to be done next. So once we're on your phone, we can see that darkroom app is installed. But when I click on it, it will be written as untrusted developer. So to fix this, just go to your settings, go to general, go down, click on VPN and device management, click on this first developer app, click on trust, click on allow and it's done. Now if you open this app, it will work perfectly. So I hope now you installed Sideloadly successfully on your Windows device. So that's it for this video. I'll meet you in the next one. Sneptech signing out.